Welcome back to Good News! I'm your host, Gabe Kimson. Happy July 4th, everybody. I know what you're probably thinking, and yes, this is another dope flower tie. Don't worry, I got more. Now, I want to start this episode with a big thank you to everyone who watched, shared, and commented on that first episode. It makes me feel a little less crazy that it turned my dining room into a newsroom. I decided to do a little bit different this week, and I invited a bunch of my friends and all the homeless people from under a bridge near my apartment to come laugh when I tell them to, so that you guys at home know that I'm funny. <laughs> there they are. Now, here's the good news. China started construction on what they're calling the world's first forest city. It's reportedly going to be home to over 1 million plants, including 40,000 trees capable of absorbing 10,000 tons of CO2 per year, or the equivalent of rush hour on the 405. <sighs> Not good enough. <laughs> the city will be home to approximately 30,000 people, or as China calls it, one subway car. <laughs> A lot of people there. Researchers from UC Davis filmed DNA replication for the first time last week, and just like your parents, it turns out that DNA is a lot more freaky in the bedroom than we all expected. <laughs> this new discovery shows more randomness during replication than scientists ever expected, which raises new questions about how DNA mutates. And even more questions, like, when are we getting dinosaurs already? <laughs> It was reported this week that IBM's artificial brain has grown from 256 neurons to 64 million neurons in just six years. And it's on pace to hit 10 billion by 2020. Now this is huge! I mean, this is not that far off from our evolved monkey brains that have about 100 billion neurons. At this rate, we could have a computer brain equal to ours in the next 10 years. I think Keanu said it best. Whoa. <laughs> Elon Musk and SpaceX are back in the good news arena by making space travel history yet again this week by launching three, that's right, three reused rockets within nine days of each other. SpaceX said this type of quick turnaround and ability to reuse rockets results in $300 million savings per flight over traditional rocket technologies, or as Elon calls it, rocket change. <laughs> Good news in politics, I know, I know, it sounds silly to say, <laughs> but a Swedish billionaire will award five million dollars to individuals and groups who come up with a better system of governance than we currently have, or as I like to call it, free money! <laughs> According to the founder of the Global Challenges Foundation, we urgently need fresh new thinking in order to address the scale and gravity of today's global challenges, which have outgrown the present system's ability to handle them. Well, duh. We all could have told you that. But, let's be fair, $5 million is chump change compared to the old way of reforming the government. Whew. Deadline is September 30th, so make sure to combine all of your best political Facebook statuses and see if all of that ranting can actually amount to something. <laughs> The 94-year-old co-inventor of the lithium battery, Professor John Goodenough, must not have thought his first invention was good enough, and last week announced a new battery, which is non-combustible, good news Samsung, has three times more capacity than current lithium batteries, and can charge in minutes rather than hours. When asked what keeps him going after all these years, Goodenough replied, batteries. <laughs> Good news for equality, on Friday, Germany voted to legalize same-sex marriage. Now, if it's passed by the Germany's upper house, which has previously approved legalizing same-sex marriage, Germany will become the 23rd country, including the U.S. and Canada, to become woke. CEO of Facebook and guy always posing for a yearbook picture, Mark Zuckerberg, announced a new mission statement for Facebook this week. To give people the power to build community and bring the world closer together. Which is better than Facebook's first mission statement, to replace magazines while you poop. <laughs> More sex makes you healthier. At least that's what researchers from Taiwan's National Defense Medical Center said they reportedly discovered a correlation between the amount of sex participants had 
to the amount of a key amino acid linked to strokes and heart attacks. Bad news, the positive effect was only shown in men, but the women still had a really good time. <laughs> And last but certainly not least, CBS News reported a story this week that will warm your heart and remind you that all is not lost, even in Texas. <laughs> Andy Mitchell saw 20-year-old Justin Corba walking along the road in a small town outside Dallas in 95 degree heat when he stopped to give him a ride. After finding out that Justin walks three miles to work and back, Andy posted the story on social media. Shortly after seeing the post, a pizza shop owner put up a donation box in his restaurant and within 48 hours, they had raised $5,000. The Good Samaritan chain continued when a local car dealership sales manager saw the post, talked to his GM, and then got the price of a car lowered. So with the money they raised, they were able to purchase the car, purchase insurance for a year, oil changes for two years, and give him a $500 gas card. Oh my God, ah, oh, feels good, doesn't it? I mean, this is the epitome of paying it forward. And it all started with a simple car ride to work. I mean, I bet there's something that you could do this week that's just as unobtrusive to your daily lives, but that could potentially have huge, huge impact on someone else's life. Now, we all need a helping hand from time to time. Collaboration and community is what makes our species so successful, and without it, we are sure to create even larger divides and more animosity and inevitably more destruction. Empathy is a gift that we all get to use if we choose to use it, but that's the kicker. And as the saying goes, sometimes you need to take a walk in someone else's shoes. In this case, almost literally. I mean, none of us want to be walking for three miles in the sweltering heat to go to work. And it's because of Andy Mitchell's understanding and empathy that his actions were able to create an echo of enlightenment. And this is exactly the type of story that gives me hope that despite all the selfishness and all the greed and all the anger in the world, at our core, most of us know that we're all in this together. Sometimes we forget, but and someone like Andy reminds us. And at least for a moment, we get to feel happy that the world isn't quite as dark and lonely as we thought. That's it for episode two of Good News. I'm Gabe Kimson. I'll see you guys next week. I'm not good at sign-offs. I don't...